All right. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another edition of Solving SAT Khan Academy Math Problems. You may notice I've lost my voice. Uh, it's because I got sick this weekend, and it's just kind of gone now. But I didn't want to stop. So Facebook audience, I'm still going to do a video today, do my best to get through five problems. I may not be able to talk the whole way through it, but I'm going to try. Again, if you're watching on Facebook and you want to see the actual problems, go to my YouTube channel. You can go to YouTube and search for Scalar Learning. And without further ado, let's begin. So again, if you're watching on YouTube, you may have to just sort of watch. I don't know how much longer I can talk. All right. We got the screen share going. So let's start with this problem right here. We're going to put it up here. Oops, it's not here. There it is. <coughs> okay. So, Mani's grandmother's house is five miles west of her own house down Main Street. So, again, yeah, I'm going to say IG. And here's I's house. Now, I'm going to put it left because that's west, right? Let's see, this is so immediately I'm drawing a picture. While at her grandmother's house, uh, Imani decides to ride her bike farther west down Main Street, going this way at 10 miles per hour. Which equation best describes the distance in miles? Imani is from the home after two hours. So, again, she's going 10 miles per hour. So, how many hours times 10 is the distance she's have gone? Plus, she's already five miles away from her house because her grandmother's house is five miles away. So that's it. And it looks like A is gonna be her answer. Here they're subtracting, no reason to subtract. Um, this is almost right, but they switched. That one's wrong. Okay. Sorry, I just really can't talk today. I'm trying my best. Alrighty. Hiroto spends 68 on ebooks and paperback books combined. Each ebook he buys costs $5. Each paper book costs $12. Hiroto buys X ebooks and Y paperbacks. So X ebooks. Since this is five dollars per ebook, we put it with the X and twelve dollars. Y paperbacks plus twelve Y, right? That's the total cost. That's the total cost, and it has to all add up to sixty-eight dollars. Here's our equation. And again, it looks like A is going to win it. This one's flipped. Uh, this one, I don't know what's happening. I don't know why they did 17. Oh, they just added them. That's wrong. Okay, so again, it's going to be A. Oops. Here we go. A construction company's fees include. Okay, I'm not. I can't read it. You're gonna have to read it yourself. So if you're on Facebook again, go to YouTube at my YouTube channel and check this out, uh, so you can read the problem. All right. Fractional hours are charged at a fraction of the hourly rate. If a job takes ten hours, do less than ten hours to complete. It's completed in one day. According to these rules. Uh, so let's see. There's two thousand hours. Any fractional hours are charged at that fraction of the hourly rate. Job takes less than ten hours. It's completed in one day, according to these rules. A three point five hour job will cost you the an eight hour job would take four seventy five. All right. 
Junction Company completes a job in one day. The following function of best models that cost C in dollars. Right? So, 3.5x equals 250. Uh, this is the, you can use a calculator, but I won't. So, I'm going to solve for the hourly rate. Got negative 4.5x. These guys cancel out. Equals negative 225. Then we divide this by 4.5. Negative 4.5. And we get, here I'll do it up here, 2250 divided by 45. So it's $50 per hour, and then it's 75 flat fee. So it's going to be this one, um, C, because it's $50 per hour and a 75 flat fee. Sorry, I got confused there for a second. Let's move on. I know this is crazy because you can not really hear me. Try my best. <laughs> my voice the way it is. It's kind of deep though. It's interesting. Let's try this. Got two more. I'm gonna make it. All right. From 2005 to 2013, the population of Belize. T stands for here since 2005. Best model of the population of Belize during this time period. So we can kind of think about it like this. This is after five years, right? So P of T equals, um, so that'd be one, two, three, four, so five. 7,500 plus X, and then this would be, okay, so I, I can't really explain everything because my voice, but basically I'm making the population 2010 equal to this, because this is five years out, right? So it must have increased by 7,500 plus whatever the baseline is, and this value is the population in 2005. And again, you can use a calculator here. Uh, I just don't have one, so I'm going to have to do it manually. 35,000, 35,500 plus X, 
270. So this is our population in 2005, which means our equation would be this. Uh, these ones get all the constants wrong. So it's A. There we go. Um, check the answer next. All right, last one. Which I'm excited about because my voice is hurting. So let's go here. Okay. Last problem. A utility service company has a fleet of cars and trucks. The gas tank of each car is a volume of 16. Gas tank of each truck has a volume of 30. It takes 2,000 gallons of gas to fill the empty gas tanks of the entire fleet. 2,000. Okay. So we'll say it's used T and C for cars and trucks. So let's say. times 16, right? Or 16C. Let's say 16C is the car and plus 30T. This would be our equation to show the number of cars and trucks in the fleet. Like this. 2,000 are total. So these ones are more or less straightforward. This one's wrong because it's flipped. Um, This one's right. This one's wrong. There's no value with the T. No value with the T. So it's B. And answer it. Okay. All right. <laughs> so that's it, guys. Um, let me switch back the video here. All right. So that's it. Sorry, I had to whisper. Hopefully, this still made sense. I hope you still got value out of those walkthroughs. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully my voice will be better by then. Have a great day. Take it easy.